if you look at the channel, the ego connected with the chi, um, this unlikely connection, eh? what does the ego have to do with the chi? And the ego brings an energy or a power, and the chi brings an identity or, an, or a direction. And yes, I know it is also a gate of love, but this is such an unpersonal love that while we are talking about the collective, we really do not need to think about that. I do not see any encompassing unpersonal love. So let's stay with direction. And what is the direction here? The innocence. The direction is to the true self. But the true self is hidden. Practically nobody has any idea about the true self because it is so, there are so many layers. They have been collected along the way that it is deeply, it's like if you would wear three coats at the same time, then it's very difficult to see what skin you have. And the innocence, in the in the most basic understanding, innocence is that, that you just are who you are. So without masks, without mm, hiding or disguising. But even if you want to be in that state, it's very difficult to arrive there because of all that conditioning that we have got through our life. So what then brings us in contact with that? Not the shock of initiation. In the shock of initiation, you go into the unknown, so to a place, metaphorically speaking, to a place you have not been there before. And in that unknown, there is no conditioning you can consciously or unconsciously use because for the unknown, there is no textbook. And that is why in the unknown, you somehow will get in touch with yourself on a deeper level. You know, I would say there are many layers of that, but on a deeper level. So, and now let's translate it to society. Then what remains is, we are moving in the direction of the unknown, but not as you and me only, as the whole planet, as the whole country, as the whole city. Not also these future entities we have created. So these are our three contents, uh, constants. And it looks like that. Here it's beautiful. Not? You see it that is so beautiful with the body graph. Not? At the moment you see the picture, you see it. So it's about direction. And both gates, the two and the 25, are by their nature individual and mutative. So it's about a new direction that leads into the unknown. And in that unknown, we will, as societies and as individuals, let's say, get deeper in touch with who we are. That can lead to all kinds of experiences. So I would say, by leading into a new direction and finally moving into the unknown, a lot of masks will fall. So that will be very shocking experience.